Hello and welcome to the Stage 5 Review. In Stage 5, we met the third person plural of regular verbs and the verb to be, and we met the nominatives plural of the first, second, and third declensions. By the end of Stage 5, you should know the new NT ending for regular third person plural verbs. You should know the third person plural of the irregular verb to be, sunt. You should know the new endings for the nominative plural of first, second, and third declension nouns. You should expect plural verbs to have plural nouns as their subjects and vice versa. So singular nouns will go with singular verbs. You should be able to fill out the following charts for the first, second, and third person of regular verbs like porto and the irregular verb to be. And you should be able to fill out the following charts for first, second, and third declension nouns. All right, so here are the endings for regular verbs. First person regular verbs end in long O, so porto, I carry. Second person singular regular verbs end in S, so portas, you carry. Third person singular verbs end in T, so portat, he carries, she carries, it carries, Metella carries, a dog carries. Now we've added in third person plural verbs. They end in NT, portant, they carry, the boys carry, the dogs carry. Here's the irregular verb to be. We already knew sum, I am, s, you are, est, he or she or it or the dog is. Now we have sunt, sunt, they are, the dogs are, the girls are, okay? Third person plural. Now to go with our third person plural verbs, we're gonna need plural nominatives. So we already knew the nominative singular and accusative singular of the first declension. So nominative singular for subjects, accusative singular for direct objects. Now to go with our plural verbs, we have nominative plural. Okay, so for plural subjects, we'll use nominative plural. For singular subjects, nominative singular. So puela, nominative singular, puelam, accusative singular, Puelai, nominative plural. That's the first declension. Second declension, we had nominative singulars ending in US, accusative singular ending in UM. Now we have nominative plural ending in long I. So serwus, nominative singular, serwum, accusative singular, serwi, nominative plural. That's the second declension. Now here's the third declension. Remember, third declension nominatives can end in anything. So we're gonna use leo. Leo, nominative singular. Leonem, accusative singular. Notice the stem. That stem for the third declension is what we're gonna add all the endings to. So there's the stem, leonase, nominative plural, okay? So nominative plurals of the third declension end in long ES, like leones. And as always, remember, you should know all the words in the stage five vocab checklist, both from Latin to English and from English to Latin. Don't forget, we have Quizlet lists to help you with that.